Hi there. Uh, this is a quick introduction to uh, some electronic devices and also some electronic circuits we can build with those devices. So first we are going to uh, see how uh, a diode works. We are going to use a light emitting diode. So our first circuit will be some voltage source where we are going to connect the diode. Our voltage source will be 5 volts and the problem with diodes is that once a uh, diode is activated, which is uh, around 1 volt, it will drive as much current as it can. So in uh, with a 5 volt source the current will be too much and because the dissipated power is equal to the voltage times the current when the current goes very high the, the power will be also very high so it will end up probably burning our our diet so anytime we use a diet we need to use a series resistor to limit that current a resistor of some uh, of some uh, 200 ohms or up to one kilo ohm will be uh, enough. Okay. So with this circuit, we'll basically mm, make current go there. We are going to use actually an LED, which is a light emitting diode. So it will light up, and we can see it uh, working. So to mount our circuit we are going to use a um, breadboard this is this this kind of boards here this will be our power supply these cables come from the uh, USB port in uh, my PC so USB port generates 5 volt uh, uh, power so in this breadboard we can make uh, connections among devices we do so because these columns here are all connected together and these columns here as well. In the upper bottom side of the uh, board all these lines here are also connected and uh, are very us useful to distribute the power. So I can connect to the positive of the power supply in any of these holes here and I can connect to the negative of the power supply in any hole around here. So yes, to mount our circuit, I'm going to start with the with the uh, LID. This is a green one. The long terminal is the positive terminal where current is supposed to go in. So I connect to the positive here and some place around here. Right. Now I will connect the one K resistor in series with the diode so I just have to connect it to any hole in the same column here for there for example now it's it is connected to the diode and I'll close the circuit by connecting to ground okay to the negative terminal which is here, which is our ground terminal in our circuit here Okay, so now current is flowing, diode is on. We, we know that diodes only uh, conduct a current in one direction. So if I reverse the diode, it will not light. Oops. Because current cannot flow on that direction. It can flow if I increase the voltage very, very much, but if it's not, uh, if it's, uh, I would probably ruin the diode. So, okay, now we know how to light the diode. Diodes are very common as indicators to know that something is flowing through the circuit. We may have uh, other kinds of indicators. For example, this is a buzzer, which basically makes a sound when current goes through it so we can uh, connect a buzzer as well this to connect it we use 
we use two terminals and this connects to one of the terminals of the buzzer and this connects to the other terminal okay so now we are adding it is something like this we are adding a buzzer to our circuit like this and we connect it from from the positive to ground and hopefully you can listen to this uh, sound okay so a buzzer is also a good indicator if we want to build an alarm system or something we can test with a buzzer and later on we can substitute it with something that emits a more higher sound or, or whatever so i will disconnect the buzzer from now okay okay now we uh, simply have uh, seen how to use some devices uh, i will i'll try to make a useful circuit with this so now imagine that we want to build some kind of uh, alarm system some kind that uh, some circuit that uh, indicates when something happened okay for example we can uh, control when current will flow using a new device which is a uh, photoresistor it means that uh, I will change the circuit a little bit we will add a photoresistor here which is basically a resistor that is activated by light it behaves as a simple resistor but the resistance goes down when there's light so when there's light here the resistance the, the current will be higher it will conduct electricity better so resistance goes down when there's no light resistance goes up okay so this way i can make a system that is sensible to light when light that comes to the photoresistor it will conduct electricity and then we'll have a current here the diet will light okay so this is our photoresistor you can see it there i have connected it to a couple of cables so i will now connect everything in series goes to connect photoresistor to the other resistor we keep the original resistor for to have a way of limiting the the um, the current and not to damage the diode so if you can see now when the light uh, i expose the photoresistor to light the diode is on but if we uh, take it out of the light the diode is off so this like an indicator when there's light or not in the room okay maybe sometime we just want to uh, use photoresistor to know if something if something is blocking the light for example imagine that you you want to detect when th something passed by a person or some object so when an object passed by and shares the photoresistor the light goes off the diode go, goes off and then it goes on okay okay with something like this i could build a, a simple alarm system like the one you have in the entrance door in, in many shops where people goes into the shop there's some sound or some light to know that someone is going to the inside so i can we can add our buzzer again so that when the photoresistor is conducting i want to make a sound as well and can add it here so when it's uh it's connected 
I have my current going through here and going through there. It will, the diode is like a light indicator and the buzzer will emit some sound. Okay, so I'll basically connect the buzzer to the same place where the resistor is connected. And as you see, when there's no light, the diode goes off. When there's light, the diode goes on, but we cannot uh, listen to the buzzer. That's because our our photoresistor actually doesn't drive much current, not enough current to make a sound in the buzzer. Okay, so now we face the problem of amplification. Also, in this circuit we have a problem is that we cannot control the sensitivity I'm going to increase the amount of light here so if you see if I put it in the very strong light we can listen to the buzzer a little bit okay but we need a, a lot of light okay with the regular room light it's not enough and I don't have a way to adjust the, sen the sensitivity of, of this, okay? Okay, so to solve that problem, we are going to use another device, which is a transistor. Transistors are another type of semiconductor, like diodes. And in this case, we are going to use a field effect transistor, okay? This transistor is a NMOS transistor. This is the symbol. It has three terminals, a gate, a drain, and a source. And basically the operation of this transistor is that when I put a high voltage in the gate, a positive voltage in the gate, it makes current, the low current, to flow from drain to source. It's like a closed switch, okay, it's like a closed circuit. But if the gate is kept at the low voltage, then it will not drive any current, okay? So our trick will be something like this. I will remove the uh, photoresistor from here. I will connect our MOSFET here. And then I'll use our photoresistor we will, we will connect the photoresistor to the gate of the transistor yeah, Actually because we need very, mm, very little current to put the gate at a high voltage okay? So the photoresistor is enough to make that small current and once it's, uh, it's at a high voltage, it uh, will conduct very, very well, okay? hopefully. So our new circuit will be something like this. Okay. We'll try it. In, uh, in our case, this we are going to use this MOSFET. We are going to connect it around here. Our device in particular, uh, or physically, is something like this. It's a small device here with three terminals, and the order of those terminals are these. This is the gate, this is the drain, and this is the source. Okay. So if you see drain, source, gate, source is directly connected to ground is connected to the common node going through the diode branch and the buzzer and the gate is controlled by the uh, photodiode okay so I'll connect everything the photodiode cable goes now to the gate of the of the transistor Okay, I'll use a cable to connect 
this common node to the drain which is the middle terminal and we will use another cable to connect the source to the ground okay to the negative rail which is all the row below here and you see now the current going through the photoresistor elevates the voltage here with a high voltage current goes through here okay what happens now if i put my hand here there's no light but the photoresistor is still conducting so it's no good actually i'm going to disconnect the photoresistor and see what happens it's still running so the problem here is that our I'll disconnect this one okay. the problem is that our transistor is very sensible and also the gate is not physically connected so once I elevate the voltage here it gets at a high level okay even if I dis disconnect the uh, photoresistor the voltage is kept at a high level to show you I will do it with just with a cable I'll attach a long cable here okay and if I now connect the, the gate to to the negative node it stops okay I have connected the gate to ground I have discharged this one voltage here is low it doesn't conduct that's it if I connect it to the high voltage okay we elevate the voltage here and then it's conducting again okay it's so so sensible that I can control the voltage even with the small current that goes through my body so see it's a it's a high voltage now okay if I touch the gate with my finger I make it to stop because it goes through my body to a low voltage if I connect it to the high voltage I take the terminals with my fingers the small current going through my body elevates the voltage there and makes it sound transistors are very good for that they are great great amplifiers so with a very small current with a very small signal we can trigger and drive a lot of current but in this case it's uh, not working very well okay okay the solution to that is that I can uh, use another resistor so basically we are going to disconnect here I can use another resistor here and then we with this resistor I make a voltage divider here if I count I don't know yet but I can calculate the value of this resistor so that with some amount of light okay the voltage here will be high enough to activate the transistor but when there's no light this resistor will make the voltage here to be low and I disconnect this one so normally we will know two resistors this is a photo resistor and another resistor the um, value of this resistor will depend on the sen sensitivity we want if we want the uh, circuit to be very sensible to light to light with a very small light I will put here a, a, a high value resistor if I want to be mm, to need a lot of light to activate the circuit I put a low value resistor but the good thing is that we also have variable resistors so that way I could adjust the sensitivity of my of my circuit 
okay so I can do it using a variable resistor which is also called a potentiometer potentiometers are like this okay basically they are devices which have a constant resistor but have a middle terminal and then they have some mechanical system and a screw or something or a knob so I can move the middle connection up or down so I can change the resistance from this node to this node and from this node to this node okay so I could use a potentiometer like this and by moving the potentiometer I could solve my problem and also adjust the sensitivity okay so now we are going to take our potentiometer this is the potentiometer with its uh, three terminals there are two terminals in the bottom one on the top and we are going to make the connections the connection to the gate is taken from the middle terminal here okay now the other terminal goes to ground that's it and the other terminal will be connected to our photodiode so we are at our photodiode here and that goes directly to the other terminal okay now there's enough light to activate the uh, the circuit okay we now can act on this screw in the in the uh, potentiometer like this imagine we are going to eliminate the light and we are going to adjust this screw until until we have no sound okay it means that now this we have adjusted this one so that mm, uh, the, uh, the this resistance going through this place here is much smaller than the resistance on the other side of this of this voltage divider so it keeps this voltage low but when I allow light to be on the photoresistor, it will make uh, hopefully the volt to the the current to flow here increase this voltage. Okay, so I will move the photoresistor to light, and oh, it's not working. Okay, I'll try again to adjust a bit more. Okay. okay we have some variation but not very much you see we can try another configuration because I have used a, a potentiometer but ideally we will need a potentiometer with a total resistance similar to that of the uh, photoresistor okay so I'll try another configuration basically we can use a we can we have built a voltage divider here with this kind of connection but we can do it in uh, a slightly different way like this okay let's uh, we can yes uh, modify it a little bit okay now we have used the three terminals of the potentiometer but we don't need to do it like that we can just use one of the terminals and do something like this just to have our potentiometer here and we'll use the 
middle terminal and this is the middle terminal that we will connect to our photodiode okay and from this middle terminal we'll take the connection to the gate okay so now we don't connect this part here okay it means now that we always had some current flowing here even if uh, regardless where I put my potentiometer now we build a true voltage divider through here okay so now the middle connection goes here and we have a uh, one of the terminals to ground okay this one and now the photodiode goes to the middle terminal as well okay now i have to make adjustments again first i shade the photodiode disconnect it okay and now i let like pass okay so that's why potentiometers has three terminals they can be used as uh, voltage dividers or use only one side to build the voltage divider with some external resistor so basically you see now we have a oops we have an obstacle detector in the slide when there's no light okay of course we can reverse the operation now when there's light we detect light not the absence of light if we want to reverse the operation we could do it it all be the other way we can we could move the uh, this branch connected to the power supply and connect it to ground okay I'm not changing the drawing here but basically is this part here the photodiode is connected to ground and the potentiometer to the power supply it means that in the in this case when there's light it goes to zero when there's no light it goes to a positive value basically what we have done is to reverse that part here it will be something like like this uh, to be the we have the potentiometer connected to vcc okay this is, is this voltage 5 volts and then we have the photodiode connected to ground and from here I take the uh, it goes to the to the gate terminal of the transistor now when we have light it goes down gets disconnected we, we when we don't have it gets high and it's connected so we basically reverse the operation let's see how it goes now if you see with light it doesn't run with no light so we have a it can serve as a presence detector you install it at the main gate of your main door of your house or shop whatever put it somewhere where light goes directly to that and when someone crosses it will emit a signal okay okay and we can even adjust the the sensitivity if we think that it's too sensible we can adjust with the potentiometer so so if it, uh, that's it in this example we have seen how to combine different uh, devices to make some useful application okay in this example what's important to to see is that 
semiconductors in today electronics are uh, are are always there. They are very useful for these applications. Okay, we have our diodes and especially our transistors that make things much easier. And also, it's important to note how the how the uh, important nodes in the circuit are. Okay, we have a uh, this photoresistor that is that basically generates the input to my circuit. The input to my circuit is this node here. I have a voltage level here controlled by the photoresistor. And it makes my circuit to do some operation and activate the output. This is the output node of my circuit. The node that when goes to a low voltage activate my indicators. Okay, also in this example we have used a transistor, this transistor here, in which is called switching switching mode because we are interested only in make it conduct electricity as good as possible or to cut off and don't conduct electricity. Actually transistors uh, can be used, be used as amplifiers of any kind of signal. So that's it, thank you.